हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्ट्रक्चर एंड यूनियन देर आर टोटल टू एग्जांपल्स फर्स्ट इज स्ट्रक्चर एंड सेकंड इज यूनियन एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रक्चर कैन कंटेन मेंबर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप्स सिमिलर टू स्ट्रक्चर वी हैव अनदर यूजर डिफाइंड डेटा टाइप विच इज यूनियन यूनियन ऑल्सो स्टोर वैल्यूज ऑफ डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप्स अंडर अ सिंगल वेरिएबल so in this example we have three members in structure which are abc of integer float and character type in case of union we also have three members abc of integer float and character type after completion of declaration of structure we have declared a variable n and after completion of declaration of union uh, again n variable is declared so first take a look on memory allocation of structure in this memory allocation we have total three parts as we have three members so uh, memory allocation also have three uh, parts first for a second for b and third for c uh, a occupies 2 bytes b occupies 4 bytes and c occupies 1 byte uh, uh, according to the uh, data type of uh, these variables so combinedly n variable occupies 7 bytes of memory in case of structure now take a look on union here uh, uh, only 4 bytes of memory uh, is allocated for uh, all three variables which are a b and c so compiler identifies the variable which occupies highest amount of memory uh, and other members of union will share that allocated memory so that we can save some amount of memory uh, while we are processing a particular program so for better understanding we can uh, see these comparison between structure and union so first uh, comparison is structure is user defined data type union is also user defined data type second point structure allocates separate memory block to each member so uh, we have already seen with the help of uh, diagram of memory allocation that each each member of structure occupies separate memory uh, in case of union union allocates memory to the member which occupies highest memory space we have already uh, seen uh, the memory allocation of union in previous slide the third difference is we can store values to each member of structure at same time but we cannot store values to each member of union at same time so if we have sufficient amount of memory along with we want to store values of uh, each member at same time then we can prefer structure but if we have uh, insufficient amount of memory and if we want to store uh, values to a particular member at a particular time then we can prefer union so both are important we can either choose structure or we can choose union thank you